Hello guys, and today I'm going to give you a lesson on how to find the area of an eclipse. Now this is a very tricky subject because seemingly the eclipse has no sides and no way whatsoever to find the area. But there is a way using the basic formula. Area equals pi a b. Now, uh, when you first look at this formula, it seems pretty strange because what is pi doing here? Where is A in our eclipse? And where is B? Now, I've already drawn a rectangle around an eclipse, so these areas here don't exist. I'll uh, mark those up. So they don't exist. They're imaginary. But uh, the rectangle is real, it has the same length and dimensions as our eclipse, but there's this extra space. So if we find the area of our rectangle and then somehow erase the space, we will get our area. So that's exactly what this formula does. So let me quickly show you where A is and where B is. As you can see, I've cut our eclipse in a quarter. And A is this line, and B is this line, vice versa, it doesn't matter. But uh, you might be wondering why I did this. And the reason is because pi represents 3.14, etc. But it really is equals 3. So if we times 3 parts of this quarter, we'll have enough, um, enough leftover parts to equal up this half. So in other words, we're actually finding the area and removing this. Uh, this is very accurate too, which is surprising. That's why pi is here, because it equals around 3. And like I've said, it's 3 portions, and there's enough outside space area to fill up this area. So let's say this length is 20, and this is 10. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, we need to divide these both in half. So this line will equal 10, and this line will equal 5. So simply times that, that's 50. So let's do that. Okay, and now we're just going to do pi times 50. So uh, give me a sec, guys. Let me calculate this. And our answer is going to be around 157. So that's how you find the area of an eclipse. And thanks for watching. Bye.